Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a C senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see a RAML part 4, REST API modeling language part 4. So in previous video, we have gone through the various concept related to RAML, which includes like security schemas, URI params, query parameters, it contains threads, like how we can structure a basic RAML and what is the uses of RAML. But in this video, we will learn about libraries and the fragments. So libraries provide the ability to bring a predefined set of data site, resource type, threads, security schema and reusable assets all in the namespace environment. So basically you can create a library. So be, like uh, I want like I can tell you like so basically I want this kind of structure like with proper data type in the proper you know like in address type I should only get the home or you know something like that home or it may be office address type for phone type I may get two value which is enum and uh, enum kind of value like you know which is like mobile or home phone number so I want to define all the data type like what data type of first name is like what data type last name is so in that case either you can use the data type of, uh, like provided by the mule site mule soft and either you can use the library which is also provided by mule soft in the raml okay so let me start uh, creating a library so generally i create a one folder uh, which is known as a libraries i can say libraries create and under libraries i can create a one file new file of type library so i can use the library so there is a difference between library and the data type data type can have only one type you know one type on it support a single kind of data type whereas like uh, library support multiple types i will show that so i can say customer library dot ramble i can spell it correctly so i can say create okay so i am defining a customer library and i will define some types so uh, we can start with types so i can say customer type under customer type i can define a properties so let's see what properties i want i want first name and the last name then address is of type array phone is of type array so how we can achieve that i will show you so first name so i write first name of type i can say string i can also say required i can say true then i can also define like you know uh, example so in this case i can say example will be gems okay then my second property is last name so again this is type string require true i can say example i can say gems the last name is watson it is not examples it's example okay the next thing i want to define a address which is of type array so I will define one more type which is you know uh, address okay under address I want straight okay so let me do okay under address I will write properties under properties I want straight straight of type string then I can write you know uh, string of type string I can say required I can say false or I can say true whatever then I define the type equals to string here I have to give this space okay then I can say example 101 Oxford this is just an example then after street what is the next field I want in that uh, I want city 
simply what I can do I can start copying this instead of writing this much of the thing required string required true I can say city London okay this is fine the next thing I want state I think right what is the next field it's state country postal code and the address type so I can define state and again it's required I can say London whatever I can give the state as a London only then I want to define a country I can just copy paste the same thing country I can say required which is UK example then finally come postal code so my postal code again it will be remain same I can change type will remain same and you know I can uh, say postal code something like Z1CTY1 something like this this is just an example then I want to define a address type so that is fine so address type can be either home or office so I can say address type in this case I can say enum I can say home or office okay I can example no need of example here the next thing what I can do I can go here okay and I can access address or I can say let me check what happened so I can say tab type so I can access address like this of type address and you want this in array so there can be multiple address so I can put this in array like this okay two square bracket now I want a phone phone is also of type phone okay so this is array it contain two field phone number and phone type so I can define one more type which is of type phone under that I can define two properties what is this one is phone number type string so it's not tie it's type then I can say required I can make this as a correct spelling so require I can say true then example I can give something like this plus nine one something like this this is just an example or simply I can say plus one or it's a UK I can say plus four four enter and the next property is phone type this is again of type enum so it can contain either mobile so I can say enum so it can be mobile comma what can be next value a normal phone so here you can define example I can say mobile also I will define the example here also so it can be visible in our RAML okay so I have defined this much of the thing now I want to access the phone here so phone is my field name which is of type phone which we have created and it is of type array right so it's example this everything is fine so you can ignore this for now this will goes automatically this it's taking some time okay now how I can use this particular library in my main API so generally I will create one endpoint of type like you know in this particular so I want to face the customer details so I will create a new endpoint customers 
of get description so I can say fetch all customers then I can say responses 200 body of type application slash json mm. here I will not going to give the example and also I will use this is okay for my error response here I will not give the example because in previous we have defined the example directly right account.json but this time we have written the library of type cust type right customer type so I want to access this this properties and this should automatically convert it into JSON so because here I have defined all the data types and everything so how can I use this so first thing you have to use the word uses then you can give cust type never use the include with the library we simply say libraries slash customer library dot raml okay so this is the type we use it so it, it should go it's saying live lib lib r uh, it's gone okay the error is gone so now how can i access it copy this i can go to you know I can go to my customer endpoint here I can say type of cust type which I have defined at top and this way cust type dot customer type now I go to this message get here you can see the example but there is one problem like you cannot see the array right because you are expecting this as a array but here you cannot see the array inside that simple you can put two square bracket so it will get converted into array automatically you can see that it complete message has converted into error and whatever example you given the it shown the whole example so that is how you can create a customer library right let me publish to exchange here what advantage we are getting instead of giving the example so here you can define like you can restrict the lot of thing like you can define your data type you can de define the enums and everything right for each and every field so I can publish to exchange so I will show your fragments also so like you can create this particular library outside this raml and you can use inside this raml so I will show that before like you know what is fragments the API fragment is a raml document that has a version and identify but it is not itself as a complete raml specification the API fragment is one of the following type defined by the raml see the raml 0 0.8 whatever so basically we can define the API fragment for thread resource type uh, user document example annotation secret so what benefits we are getting so once whatever code we written in API fragment that can be re reused across n number of raml within your organization or outside your organization right so basically you are promoting the reusability like if you are defined some canonical schema or like if you have some canonical schema for your customer right uh, if you want to use across the multiple APIs so you can define that into the fragments so it is promoting a reusability so where is my raml I where, so I will publish it now I can copy this whole example and I can go to design center let me copy to some notepad so I don't lose it let me go to design center so you can say create new create a fragment so I can say customer library 
what type of fragment you want a library so there are multiple type of fragment you can define I will use the library create fragment and I will copy I have already copied that code with me so let's wait while it's creating the fragment okay so I can uh, just uh, remove everything I can say control V okay so this is my fragment this is my library which I've created now I can publish this to exchange as I mentioned the fragment also have a version number okay so I can say 1.0.0 and publish to exchange so it is published now so you can find this in uh, our exchange so let's go to exchange first so you can see the customer library here you can click on here this particular part you can see that you know this is your assets version and everything you can download now I will go to design center and I will use this library in our main RAML in our banking RAML so we will remove the library which have we have created inside the project in banking API and we will use this customer library this fragments basically let's wait while the project is opening sometime it takes a lot of time it's depend on your connection okay now I will delete this library I don't want this delete it yes now what I can do I can go to this import from exchange not all assets I want which published by this organization so I will use this checkbox this custom library and I will say import asset so it will import the asset and it will add in your project no okay it has exported that file correct or other way you can some simply you know yeah that's fine now what we can do I can go to this particular f file and I can remove this libraries that live like this is so I want to use this uh, custom library so I use like custom library dot ramal so let me check my method so cust type and I can say control space and I can use this customer library dot ramal okay so error has gone and now I can check my so you can see you no know, so basically you can use the fragment and you can define this library outside this project and you definitely you know always you know uh, export or like import from your exchange and you can reuse you know across the various RAML projects 
so it's just a library we have created you can use the fragments for your threads and for other other things you can make use of that okay so i hope you like this video and you understand the concept of library and the fragments if you like the video please click on subscribe and the like button thanks for watching